I believe I was doing a live and one of the people, God rest the dead, because you're so mad in this video, you're bringing up my dead people. I guess that's what the young cats do. They, 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 you know, they diss the dead. That's y'all thing. And in this video, this person brings up how he didn't like that you was getting views and, and subs off your butt cheeks. I said, listen, let her get her money away so I can get it, you know. Wow. So before we get started in this segment of breaking truckers, I like to put a disclaimer out there, okay? Like to put a disclaimer. Now listen, this breaking trucker segment is going to be about your favorite YouTuber. I'm just putting it out there. And the video that he's referring to, uh, where a trucker named Jay was baited into saying what he said. Uh, this was about a year, year and a half ago, I believe. I want to say a year, but um, the video he's referring to is no longer available on either of his channels. I did try to do the research. I tried to go back and find said video where a uh, trucker named Jay was... Um, was talking about uh, Coco. I was definitely there. So the video that he's talking about is no longer available on his main channel or his regime channel. Can't find it at all. So what he's saying in the initial video where he was talking about Coco, and I'm talking about Trucker Brown in the last video that he did, not not the not the pre not the the re, the recent one that he's done. I'm talking about the previous one where he went back to being Trucker Brown. The Guru Pitka, me. I've never reached out to you. None of that type of stuff. I've never done any of that. I never needed you to say my name. None of that. I never tried to get in there and get in your cheeks. None of that, Charlie. I've never done none of that to you. I never said you shouldn't have a platform. I never done none of that to you, bro. So the fact that you get caught up in your emotions, you post my joint, bro. And it's like, oh, and then I've had some people on the side like, oh, she don't mean, I don't care how you meant it, bro. You think about it before you say my name. Because I really do this for the culture. And this. Trucker Brown. I mean, he went back to being the Brownster. I mean, if you go to his channel and look at that video with Coco, the first video, 19,000 views on that. Gonna have to give him a hand clap. Trucker Brown went back to being Trucker Brown. But in any case, I would like to say that the video that he's initially talking about is not on the channel. Woo, man, let me tell you, YouTube, man, YouTube, YouTube, man, oh, girl, mm. oh, girl, Coco, Coco made YouTube great again, man. I got I to gotta give it to her. She made YouTube great again. That's what's up. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and all those other buttons that show support for the channel. Let's just get right into it. Today's Breaking Trucker segment, we're breaking Coco's journey. Yes, sir. Coco's journey. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to her. Over 100,000 subscribers. No matter how she got it, she got it. She did it by building her channel the way she built it. You know what I'm saying? By showing them cheeks and showing her journey. That's what's up. Coco's journey. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to her. Check it out. In these clips right here, woo, man, can I say the clap back? 
Can I say the clap back? Hold on. You jump on YouTube. You talk rah, 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 rah. And then you're the same nigga that's begging every nigga that's watching you because bitches don't watch you. Trucker clown. Ooh. And you're begging for a cash app every five minutes. You dust. Avery 27 to the cash app. I see you, Avery. You're begging for money. You're begging for donations. You're begging everybody to join your Patreon. YouTube is your life. So you can make money off these people. $50, the top, the top cash person's $50, $100, somebody just sent $20. Uh. Hey, we appreciate fitting the cash at M. Boosa, IV the Great, and RTL Transfer. Wanna talk about niggas is sipping over me? You's a bitch-ass nigga. You got niggas sipping over you, sending you money. That Brent Adams, I see you. Tommy, I see you. Chris Cave, I see you. Can we make this make sense? And I'm not begging nobody for no cash apps. You got a hoe dangling and balls and you asking other dudes that have a dangling and balls to fund your life. How can you sit here and say you a real ass nigga? The fuck you at 99,000 fucking subscribers and your views don't fucking match. And you're going to say my views is fake? Bitch, you wish my views was fake. You wish my shit was fake. I don't think your numbers are real. Yeah, I said it. I don't. I don't think the patterns of your numbers on your on on, on your on your page are, are are accurate. I feel like they're fake. That's my personal feeling. So I'm faking 50k views, 50,000 views. I'm faking 5,000 likes. Oh, when the fuck did you drop fucking 60 racks, bitch? Never in your life! You've never even had it in your bank account, bitch! And yeah, you made a response video, so yeah, we all know you watch me too, bitch. Now I'm gonna respond to you, because you're big enough to respond to you. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to you. Well, you're doing it for views. Well, yes, that is one of my businesses. I need views to get paid from this, yes. Now what happens? I am a for-profit tuber. This is my fucking response video to all y'all hating ass motherfuckers. All y'all hating asses. All y'all know how to do is fucking hate. All y'all fucking do is hate. Woo! Man! Ah, the fire! <laughs> man, Coco going in hot. She coming in hot, man. Dylan. Dylan, 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 and Dylan, because I spit hot fire. Making YouTube great again, man. YouTube great again. Yo, mm, mm. guys, man, go over there and check her out. You know what I'm saying? Coco's journey, 130 some odd subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And you know what we all came for. You know what I'm saying? You know what we all came for. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard what the Gula Picker says. You know, nobody don't go over there. To, to, they, they come over here and all like that. Yo, she said that my man had 500 only when you put motherfucking Coco in it, your ass become fucking relevant. You can't even get 500 fucking people in your life without saying Coco. Bitch. Demon Woo. time. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Like I said, Coco brought it, brought it back. Brought it back, man. That's that's all I had to say. Brought it back. But our our guy, our guy, here we go. Our guy. Did make a, a, a sort of response. Sort of. I mean, because, you know, the live feed, he, he says that he wasn't going to respond. He wasn't going to do none of the coonery or anything like that. But I don't know, my guy. I don't know. You, you said that you wasn't going to respond to her, but you respond to her, though. To go back and forth with her. I'm not going to do that, you know, 
I said what I said, bro. She said what she said. I said what I said. It's a rap. She don't get the, you know, she don't get that from me. She's a female. It, it is what it is, bro. I say what I said. So, <clears throat> my guy, at one point in the video, all right, let me see if I can wrap my head around this right quick. At one point in the video, you said that you 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 didn't see her response video. You claimed that you didn't see it. They talking about me out there, bro. Hey, they say talking about me. Yeah. I look at it, bro. In time, man, I get you. I got to make sure my truck straight first. I don't be paying to do that hard, but I get to. They always talk about the greasy beasy, man. I, I don't. It never ends. I was like, what can you do? I at this point, I just accept that, you know. Coco said you was broke and um, taking some cash out, man. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what does that mean, bro? Like, what's going on, bro? And I don't know if y'all y'all telling the truth, man. Y'all could just be doing that to have me go off, bro. And then in the other clip, you said you seen it. Yeah, I mean, I did catch the snaps where she was trying to show me her butt cheeks and stuff and uh, shake it and saying it was making me mad. When, you know? Once I said something, now she wearing, wearing, wearing less and less clothes. So, yeah, my guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you contradicting yourself in this video, my guy. I'm just saying, you you, you know, this is, this is what I want you guys to understand. You know, all, all of the TB fans, right? You know, because a lot of you new guys that's becoming TB fans, a lot of the new guys that's coming in, Y'all, y'all come to the front so y'all can hear me clearly. All right, this ain't the first time that my guy went off on a female. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of contradictory stuff that he's saying in this in this whole video. You know that he don't want to go up against a woman and this, that, and the third. But this ain't the first woman that this man went up against. See you guys. See you new guys is not going to know none of this stuff because it's not going. To, it, you guys won't be able to find it. He took it all off his page. That's what he did. That's what he does. He took it all off his page. All the females that he went up against, he took them all off his page. And there's been a and there's been a quite few of them. There's been a quite few of them. I mean, if you go back, you know what? I'm not sure. But give me a minute. Let me go back to Guilty 718 page. And now you on live still on that call. I'm going to go to B-Word and all these sluts. Like, your bitch is motherfucking the shit. Fuck that fat bitch. Matter of fact, if you don't post a full body of this fat bitch, you admitting this fat, ugly heifer is ugly. That's what you're doing. Post the full body. Toe the head, nigga. <laughs> I should join. I should if join his live. Know your bitch look like Grimace in the back. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, you got thirty people in your live. Nigga. He he about he. Fuck your wife, nigga. She ain't do shit for me, and a bitch couldn't get my dick hard, nigga. I spit in that bitch's face. Fuck you, nigga. Well, fuck your fat ass bitch though. Cause if my bitch can be a bunch of bitches, that Jenny Craig needs soy milk. Yo, I got. Fat bitch is a fat bitch too. Eleven hundred. Because I was there when when a popular TikToker called in the Guilty Show to talk about the situation between her and Trucker Brown. And I, I do believe in that same live feed that Trucker Brown kind of like went off on the female. So this ain't the first female that this young man went after. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And before I get on up out of here, all right, because we we breaking truckers over here. We broke 
Coco from Coco's Journey. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to the young lady. No matter what she does over there, she she built her channel the way she built it. Doesn't matter how she built her channel. She got that silver plaque. And she's holding it up proudly. But before we get on up out of here, I, I just want you guys to know, I, I, I want to let you know that just because your favorite YouTuber is out here talking, saying what he says, y'all y'all, y'all coming after us saying, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Leave him alone. He's the best thing since sliced bread and all like that. And we don't have no right to say nothing about him. But yet he gets the right to, to, to say everything that he says. I mean, he was... He was lightweight, disrespectful in, in his latest video. But yet we can't say nothing about it. But yet in this other video, he he says that we do got the right to say something. But see, I'm in a position in my life, in my zen. You ain't got like me, bro. But I'm going to say something, though. I'm going to say something. I have the right by the good Lord down the county to say what I want to say. And y'all Trucker Browns fans say that we can't say anything? We can't say anything? Hmm. That's the platform, right? It's our opinions, right? Good or bad, right or wrong. Inside out. I mean, he gets a he he gets to say whatever he wants to say and pretty much get away with it. But then when somebody comes back to challenge. What he says, we're in the bag. But anyway, he's still my guy, Trucker Brown. <laughs> That's what's up. That's it for this segment of Breaking Truckers. Guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like what I do over here, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that all the other buttons that show support for this channel. Yo, stay tuned for another segment of Breaking Truckers.